All right, I just wanted to give you a quick little rundown of everything that I've put into Canvas um, for my absences this week. Um, please, first of all, take a second and do this little are you taking the final exam um, form. It's just trying to figure out how many final exam packets I need to print out because they're pretty big and I don't want to waste paper printing them for people who don't plan on taking the actual test. So do that first, super simple and straightforward. Doesn't matter what class you're in, doesn't matter if you do it early, just go ahead and take care of that. Second thing is that I posted this for my sixth period class. Um, these are the notes that I recorded today during my A-Day classes. Um, so if you haven't already, fill out the survey. Then I have two different videos, one for page four and one for page five. Um, there is no homework associated with this, but um, make sure that you actually like understand the practice problems. If you find other videos that are really good, go ahead and watch those as well. Um, and then I put a little like form for you to leave me a message because, I don't know, I thought it might be kind of cool. Then, um, I know that you have AP tests, so I put this little message on here. Good luck on your AP tests. Don't stress about stuff for here. Um, if you wanted to get ahead and um, not have to worry about anything on Thursday, that's totally fine. So I posted this assignment that's going to publish automatically um, on Wednesday for my 8A classes. Um, so this has a little video that I recorded, again, another little screen thing. And then a titration simulation. It takes you through exactly how to set it up. And then I put a little quiz on here. I called it quiz just because that's what Canvas calls it, but it's just an assignment that goes along with it. Um, what you need to know is that this will lock when you're, uh, actually no, I lied. This one, I have it due when your class period is over, um, but because of the AP test, I kept it open because I anticipate that a lot of my students will be gone on Thursday, so I didn't want to have to deal with it actually locking. Um, however, I am going to take off points. If you are present in class and do not finish it on time, I will be taking off late points. I don't care if it's five minutes late. That means you didn't use your time efficiently. Um, I gave you a 90-minute class period to do this, and it took me like 15 minutes to do the whole thing. Uh. That's kind of an exaggeration. It took a little longer, but um, definitely not 90 minutes worth of work. Then, if you finish early, which I bet you will, um, here's a little sneak peek of the final exam um, review. So you can go ahead and get started on that, and then um, that would count towards you completing your review. But again, if you haven't already fin finished it, fill out your final exam survey, and then I have another little like send me a message thing. Then, next, this is the actual link. Oh. Okay, that's for my assignment. So this is what I'm talking about. So I have it due, so it's going to mark you late depending on your class period um, whenever these deadlines hit, but it's not actually going to lock, and I think it's unlocked right now. So that's that thing. Then on the 12th, I'm going to give you, we're going to call it a quiz. I'm not really sure how I'm going to take the grade yet, um, but it is going to be an open note little thing. So I want to see how you can do on this. So make sure that you take all of your notes before this. So the reason I wanted to go through this now is so that um, for my students who are going to be absent on Thursday, make sure that you know everything before you come in on Friday um, for the quiz. So this actually doesn't have anything to do with the, the assignment that's for Thursday. So you can go ahead and take the quiz before you do the titrations thing. The titrations assignment is kind of just a little bonus thing, but that is not actually on your quiz or on your test. This is really to prepare you um, based on everything that we've covered in our notes so far for the test that you're going to be taking next week. Um, and I saw a bunch of students saying that I messed up on the calendar. As far as I know, Wednesday the 17th is actually a C day and that is the day that we plan on testing. So unless I hear otherwise, that is my plan. Um, your quiz is like 40 questions, so get to work right away. This one, oh, I do have it locking at your class time. So like for fourth period, it's gonna lock at 1.40. For my um, third period, it is going to lock at 11.25. For sixth period, it locks at 10.30, is that right? Why does that sound wrong? Oh, okay, no, this is right. This is on um, a C day, that's why, because it's Friday. So that is all of that. Um, not that you care about the behind the scenes stuff, but yeah, that's everything. If you have questions, you can message me, but I probably won't respond until Monday when I get back. So um, good luck.